Hey guys, welcome to Hellfart. So before we get started, make sure to hit that like button. Also subscribe to my channel. In this video, I will be discussing eight healthy foods that can be unhealthy when you overeat them. There are many super healthy foods out there. However, it's important to keep in mind that more is not always better. Some foods can be good for you in moderation, but seriously harmful in large amounts. Here are eight incredibly healthy foods that can harm you if you eat too much of them. 1. Omega-3 and Fish Oils Omega-3 fatty acids are essential for our health. They fight inflammation in the body, play an important role in brain development, and reduce the risk of heart disease, to name a few. Since most diets are low in omega-3, supplements have been gaining popularity. The most common supplements include omega-3 capsules produced from fish, fish liver, and alga. However, too much omega-3 may be harmful. The usual dose ranges from 1 to 6 grams per day, but taking as much as 13 to 14 grams per day may have blood-thinning effects in healthy individuals. This may be a risk, especially for people who are prone to bleeding or are taking blood-thinning medications. Furthermore, taking high amounts of fish liver oil may result in excessive vitamin A intake, which may cause vitamin A toxicity. This is of particular concern for children and pregnant women. 2. Tuna, both fresh and canned. Tuna is a fatty fish that is usually considered to be very healthy. It is a good source of omega-3 fatty acids and is very high in protein. However, tuna may also contain high levels of an environmental pollutant called methylmercury. At higher levels, methylmercury is a neurological toxin that may cause many adverse health effects. These include developmental delays in children, vision problems, lack of coordination, and impaired hearing and speech. Large tuna fish contain the most mercury since it builds up in their tissues over time. These big tunas are very likely to be served to you as premium fish steaks or used in sushi. Smaller tunas contain lower amounts of mercury and are more likely to be canned. There are two main types of canned tuna, and their mercury content differs. White tuna, light in color and usually comes from albacore fish. White tuna contains four to five times the amount of mercury found in light tuna. Light tuna. Light tuna contains much less mercury than white tuna. It is darker in color and usually doesn't come from albacore fish. The upper safety limit of methylmercury for humans is 0.1 micrograms per kilogram of body weight. This means that a 25 kilograms, 55 pounds, child could only eat 175 grams, 2.6 ounces, serving of canned white tuna every 19 days. Any more than this would exceed the recommended upper limit. Pregnant women and children are advised to limit their intake of seafood containing mercury to no more than two times per week. There are several other types of fish that are also rich in omega-3 fatty acids, but less likely to be contaminated with mercury. These include salmon, mackerel, sardines, and trout. 3. Cinnamon Cinnamon is a delicious, widely used spice that may have some medicinal properties. It is high in antioxidants and has been shown to fight inflammation and lower blood sugar levels. Eating cinnamon has also been linked to a reduced risk of heart disease, diabetes, cancer, and neurodegenerative diseases. However, cinnamon contains high amounts of a compound called coumarin, which may be harmful in large doses. There are two main types of cinnamon with different amounts of coumarin. Cassia also known as regular cinnamon, cassia cinnamon contains a relatively high amount of coumarin. Cylon, known as the true cinnamon, Cylon is the less common of the two. It is much lower in coumarin. The tolerable daily intake of coumarin is 0.1 mg per of body weight. Consuming much more than that may cause liver toxicity and cancer. Based on the tolerable daily intake, it is not recommended to consume more than 0.5 to 2 grams of cassia cinnamon each day. However, you can eat up to 5 grams, 1 teaspoon, of silen cinnamon per day. Eating more than that is fine occasionally, such as if a certain recipe calls for it. But large amounts should not be eaten too frequently. 4. Nutmeg Nutmeg is a spice with a very unique taste. 
It is often used in Christmas foods like eggnog, cakes, and puddings. Nutmeg contains a compound called meristocin, which is a psychoactive substance. In lower doses, nutmeg provides flavor to meals without affecting health. But in large doses, nutmeg may cause meristocin poisoning. The effects of meristocin poisoning include seizures, heart arrhythmias, nausea, dizziness, pain, and hallucinations. Eating more than 10 grams of nutmeg in one sitting is not recommended. Higher doses than that have been shown to cause symptoms of toxicity. 5. Coffee Coffee is a wonderful beverage that is loaded with antioxidants and other active compounds. It has been linked with numerous health benefits, including a reduced risk of liver diseases, type 2 diabetes, and neurodegenerative diseases. The active ingredient in regular coffee is caffeine, with each cup containing an average of 80 to 120 m. A daily intake of 400 mg is generally considered to be safe. However, consuming more than 500 to 600 mg per day can be excessive. This may overwhelm the nervous system, causing insomnia, nervousness, irritability, stomach cramps, heart palpitations, and muscle tremors. The amount of caffeine needed to experience these side effects differs widely between individuals. Some can drink as much coffee as they want, while others experience symptoms with small amounts of caffeine. 6. Liver Organs are the most nutritious parts of animals, and the liver is the most nutritious organ of all. It is very rich in many essential nutrients, such as iron, B12, vitamin A, and copper. However, a 100-gram portion of beef liver contains more than six times the recommended dietary intake, RDI, of vitamin A, and seven times the RBI of copper. Vitamin A is a fat-soluble vitamin, meaning it is stored in our bodies. Therefore, an excess may cause symptoms of vitamin A toxicity. These symptoms may include vision problems, bone pain, and an increased risk of fractures, nausea, and vomiting. Eating too much copper may cause copper toxicity. This can lead to oxidative stress and neurodegenerative changes and may increase the risk of Alzheimer's disease. Even though the liver is incredibly healthy and nutritious, it should not be consumed daily. Eating it once per week is enough. 7. Cruciferous Vegetables Cruciferous vegetables are a family of greens that include broccoli, Brussels sprouts, kale, cabbage, and collard greens. These veggies have been linked with many health benefits, such as a reduced risk of cancer and heart disease. Cruciferous vegetables make up a large part of people's daily vegetable intake. They also become very popular as ingredients in various green smoothies and fresh vegetable juices. However, compounds in these vegetables called theocyanates can interfere with the body's ability to absorb iodine. This may contribute to a condition called hypothyroidism. Hypothyroidism is characterized by an underactive thyroid gland. Symptoms include an enlarged thyroid gland, weight gain, constipation, dry skin, and reduced energy levels. Although cruciferous vegetables like broccoli are very healthy, adding high amounts to smoothies or green juices can contribute to a massive intake of these compounds. People who are sensitive to thyroid problems should avoid consuming these veggies in very large amounts. 8. Brazil Nuts Brazil nuts are among the best dietary sources of selenium. Selenium is an essential trace element but can be toxic in high amounts. The recommended daily intake of selenium is 50 to 70 micrograms slash day for adults. Additionally, the upper tolerance level for safe intake is about 300 micrograms slash day for adults. One large Brazil nut may contain up to 95 micrograms of selenium. This is more than the recommended daily amount for adults and more than three times the amount required by children. Eating only four to five Brazil nuts may leave an adult at the upper limit of safe selenium intake, so it is not recommended that you eat more than that. Symptoms of selenium toxicity include loss of hair and nails, digestive issues, and memory difficulties. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.